boys welcome back to a brand new video and boy oh boy do i have a good one for you guys today i mentioned earlier that i'd be having a money making method coming out today uh a little later and i found one and if not a money making method it's a way to get essentially unlimited super wheel spins uh, this method was very similar to the one in Forza Horizon 4. However, the trick came with knowing where to do the little drifty bit to build up your skill chain, which I had to figure out. And then also I had to figure out which car to purchase and gave you the best bang for your buck. And boy, oh boy, are you guys going to be shocked. So without wasting any more of your time, I'm going to get off my wheel because the method is involves a lot of off-road drifting and it's going to get quite loud. So I'm just going to do it on controller to save your eardrums. But I will see you boys in just a second here when we are all ready to begin. So give me one moment. So in Forza Horizon 4, I'm sure as many of you remember, there is this one spot at the beach drag strip where you could drift up and down in the BMW M6 coupe and get unlimited skill points. And with those skill points, you could actually purchase this one car that would give you credits. Now, I haven't found the car that's worth giving you a lot of credits just yet. But what I have found is a car that gives you super wheel spins for just five, five skill points, which is absurd. A super wheel spin for five skill points. So this map, I've been to every drag strip. There doesn't actually have one where there's places you can wreck like little fences or anything on the entire map. I checked out every single one and I'm pretty sure Forza took it upon themselves to make sure we didn't have anything like that because it was a little bit easy if I'm being honest in the last one. But as you can see here, I'm drifting around the cactuses and just out in the open desert, doesn't really matter where. And what Forza has probably unintentionally done is added a little thing they like to call Smactus, I think, which gives you a lot of score for just hitting cactuses. And there are a lot of cactuses all around this map. So a little bit about skill points, if you don't know how they work, pretty much every 50,000 skill point or er, score right there is one skill point. So if you can hit 100,000 times five multiplier, then there's 10 free skill points for you. Now, the interesting thing about this method is, is this car that everyone has. If you got the premium edition and you're playing already, you probably have this car. If not, it's very cheap. It's like 60 grand in the auction house. So it's very obtainable by just about anybody. So as you can see there, I didn't quite get 500K, but 429,000 got me nine skill points just from that and a little bit ways towards the tent. Now, of course, there are some risks to doing it because if you hit a rock, then you're out of luck. Like it's gonna cancel your skill thing. But I'm gonna show you guys a little thing that you can use your skill points for right off the bat that's gonna save you from that. I haven't quite unlocked it yet because I'm trying to get this method out for you guys as fast as possible. But give me a second and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So if you head over to your car mastery, you're gonna notice there's this one, it's like a controller with wings on it. And what it does is it saves you if you from two collisions. So if you crash, it doesn't end your skill chain. It actually saves you. It costs 25 skill points. I don't have enough at the moment, but you're gonna wanna make sure you purchase that one because it's gonna make it easier to gain all this. Next, you're gonna wanna make sure you purchase a skill multiplier. It doesn't really matter since you're going to 100,000 either way, the one that makes it last one and a half second longer, and then the one that increases your skill chain by 25%. This is very important because instead of having to get 100,000, now you only have to get 75,000. So I don't have any of these just yet, but I could probably purchase this one. I'm going to, and I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to get 50,000 points, and then, I'm, well, 500,000 points, and then show you the skill chain count up. So I'll be back when we're at that point. So as you can see here, we've hit 100,000 points. It didn't take that long. I'm gonna say probably about three minutes of just driving randomly in the desert. I'll let it stop counting down here. 106,000 times a five multiplier. And you're gonna see 532,000 because it gave us our 25% bonus all the way up to 10. That's 10 skill points, two super wheel spins, which is absurd. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, are there ways that I could be more efficient with this? Yes. Of course, just find somewhere that's highly populated with cacti, cactus, I don't know what, what they're called. Uh, like this place over here, I'll show you on the map. This is just where I've been drifting the whole time. It generally takes me about three or four minutes, uh, just right here on the map to fill up my multiplier and then I'm off to the races. So that's two super wheel spins every, well, it's pretty much a wheel spin every two minutes, which 
super wheel spin isn't super bad. So now, without wasting any more of your guys' time, I'm gonna show you this mysterious car, which gets you the super wheel spins and is actually insanely cheap. So let's go to the auction house and I'll meet you guys there. So as you can see here, or maybe you can't see just yet, we are in our 2020 Supra. This is actually the best car right now for getting super wheel spins and money in the game because I'll show you. Okay, so you're actually probably gonna wanna buy it just from the auto show here. Um, as more people are doing this method, people are gonna start using the super wheel spins on them. It's not really gonna be worth your money. And for only like 25,000 more, you can get your super here. And in a super wheel spin, you have a chance of getting hundreds of thousands. And then that pays off a couple of these. So I'm just gonna purchase this one. We're gonna know it has those super wheel spin slots open and probably still make money. Now the glorious thing about purchasing it yourself, as you can see, we have all our slots open. That's two skill points plus another three, five total. Back out, we have our super wheel spin now. I'm gonna go open it for you guys. But once you're done with that car, there's absolutely no reason that you can't just put it up on the auction host yourself. You head on over here, start an auction, throw it up, let some other sucker buy. You've used it, you don't need it anymore. Put it up for 30, 40K. Someone will probably buy it. You can even underprice it. Anyways, you can get rid of them, be the sleaze bag, make money though. Now hold on, since I know a few of you are gonna try and beat the system, go to the auction house and search auctions and then Toyota Supra, 40K, whatever, and buy one of these, let me warn you against it because I did try this and let me show you what happened to me. So if we go to my cars and right here, this gray one is the one I purchased off the auction house. Now, if I get into this car and I go to the car mastery, as you can see, already purchased so play it safe buy the one off the auto show and then you can be the guy putting them up on the auction host trying to bamboozle the people that are buying them off there to do this method that's my personal preference you can risk it if you want uh you can gamble i guess but personally that's just my opinion on it so as you can see we head on over to super wheel spin we click it and it's really that easy for it's a kind of messed up with this this is an absurd amount of free money look at that 35k we sell it for 30 but we got the challenger right you're getting stuff every time whether it's a car or cash you're gonna make money so boys that's probably gonna wrap it up for us um sorry i took a little longer than i thought i was going to to get this money making method out um i didn't look it up or anything i don't know if anyone's have a, has a video on it yet even i might be the first one but just a kind of cool little thing I noticed about the supers, and I knew there was going to be a way with the, the skill points. I'm sure I'll find an improved method by tomorrow, because Lord knows I'm just going to be grinding this game non-stop. So, anyways, if this video has helped you at all, share it, like, subscribe, I appreciate it all. And honestly, if you watch to the end, I appreciate that too. So, anyways, boys, without wasting any more of your time, I guess, just stay sexy, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>